Think smarter, not harder. We are looking at Notebook LM from Google, but it feels like it was built by a startup. You have probably seen the audio overview features, but Notebook LM can do a lot more than this. Here's one. All right, so we're diving deep into AI today, or more specifically, how to make those powerful but data-hungry large language models, you know, LLMs everyone's talking about, a bit more manageable. And cost-effective, right. Exactly. You sent in some really cool resources about... Audio overviews are a feature within a Notebook LM that feels like two human beings are talking in a podcast. More on that later in the video. But it can potentially be your personalized AI research assistant and has some really cool features. You can upload a number of different uh, file types, including PDFs, links to websites, YouTube videos, audio files, or you can connect your Google Drive. Since it's using the multimodal Gemini 1.5, it can also look at images and charts. Now, everything is in context of Gemini. So unlike traditional rack, it can give you insights by looking at all the documents together. Thanks to Gemini's 2 million token context window. And I think it is pretty impressive. I'll show you some really cool examples later in the video. And not only it can generate answers, but can show you the sources. Now, in the beginning, I said it, seem, it feels like it's built by a startup because if you look at the website, it's unlike Google. I think the only mention that we see of Google is the Gemini 1.5. And the website link is notebooklm.google and probably this small Google logo at the end. Okay, so to get started, you need to have a Google account. Just go to notebooklm.google, then click on Try a Notebook. You will be presented with this interface. There are a few example notebooks already available. To get started, just click on New Notebook. Now here, you can provide up to 50 different information sources and these these can be your google docs google slides and links to websites and youtube videos or you can drag and drop different file types here is how it's going to look like when you add file types so i'll show you a few of my own notebooks that i'm using and some pretty uh, great features that it comes with so this notebook is called prompt caching uh, here i included a web link to a blog post context caching from Gemini API. It generates a quick summary and then it also figures out what are the key topics that are being discussed. Here's another blog post, but this one is from Anthropic, which talks about their prompt caching. And then I added two of my own YouTube videos, which talks about the same topic. And again, you can see there's a quick summary that it generated. And if you go here, there is an overall summary for the, all the documents that you have uploaded. And the summary is pretty good because uh, here it says the text focuses on context caching, a new feature offered by both Google and Anthropic. And that's exactly what these videos and blog posts are talking about. It also gives you some suggestions of questions that you can ask. So it's a pretty amazing source for interacting uh, with your documents or for learning. Now, what I really like about this is that if you provide a lot of different sources, it can still create a very good summary. So here I provided uh, 21 of my uh, different videos that I have created uh, over the last year on RAG. And the summary is pretty amazing. So it says the sources are all video transcription from the YouTube channel Prompt Engineering. So I didn't tell it that I, I'm providing these links from Prompt Engineering, but it figures out that all these links belong to uh, this channel. And then it says the video covers how to build rack systems by using two likes, Langchain, Lama Index, and Colbert. In here, there's a list of different videos that talks about vision-based rack systems. So it's able to generate a pretty decent summary. But I think the main power is in some of the other things that it can do. Now, to get started, let's pick one of these suggested questions. So what is the key difference between prompt caching with Claude and context caching with Gemini? So it generated the response. Now, depending on the query that you have, it will take some time. These are some of the questions that I have previously asked. So I think this is the one that we are talking about. 
it generates the response and also highlights where the information is coming from so this is pretty neat like if you um, click on or hover over these references it actually tells you where exactly the information is coming from another feature that everybody is uh, talking about is these audio overviews so essentially it can generate an ai podcast between two ais and it's pretty amazing because the conversation sounds very human now it also gives you the ability to customize that so you can tell it to focus on one specific source or one specific topic that is covered in your provided sources or you can also tell it to adopt a certain level of expertise when it's doing discussions right so you can customize it using this prompt and then just click on generate and it will generate that AI podcast but I want to see how good this is not only at retrieval but creating its own concepts now I asked the rag notebook well, can you list all the rag techniques including multimodal techniques now here it goes through my videos and these are the different topics that I have covered over the year so it talks about dense embeddings I have a lot of different videos which talks about dense embeddings based rag techniques then I have discussed keyword based search so it includes those hybrid search Colbert contextual retrieval late chunking contextualized late chunking that's the Colbert approach and also lists the vision based techniques so this is pretty good list of techniques that I have discussed over the year now since it keeps all uh, the transcription resources that you provide in context so I wanted to see if I were to ask it to pick one technique for RAG which one it will be so I said if you were to pick one technique which one it will be I need you to pick only one and I'm actually really impressed by the answer uh, that it generated so it picked Colbert for enhanced RAG now I have discussed Colbert in a number of my videos and if I were to pick only one technique I would actually go with Colbert so it says while no single technique is universally best the sources suggest Colbert offers a compelling combination of accuracy efficiency explainability and making it a versatile choice for various applications we are talking about 21 different videos which talks about different techniques and so uh, was smart enough to select Colbert now it does give some reasons which is basically improved retrieval accuracy and this comes from the multi-vector representation which captures a fine-grained semantic relationships within the text and this is something that Colbert is able to do because it's looking at token level embeddings rather than chunk level embeddings now it at the end refers to one of my uh, more recent videos it says while Colbert exhibits considerable strengths it's important to acknowledge that late chunking especially when combined with specialized embedding models like those from Jenna AI is presented as a technique capable of achieving state-of-the-art results however this approach requires substantial computational resources which might not be feasible for all users so I think it's uh, pretty amazing because it's able to uh, do deductions since it's looking at everything in context rather than doing a uh, standard rag and that's why I think it can be a pretty good tool for learning so you can ask questions especially more insightful questions and since it's looking at everything it probably will be able to generate better answers compared to a standard rack system but there are a few other things that you can do with the help of notebook so you can create FAQs study guides table of content there's an option for timeline so this is an interesting one let's see what it does now timeline is going to be different for different type of information that you provide so it created a timeline of events it says this timeline tracks the evolution of uh, rag techniques and tools as presented in the provided sources this is not a chronological um, timeline of events but rather a progression of ideas and their implementation so early stages traditional rag this is probably some of my early video that simply talks about chunking and then doing embedding challenges with the traditional rag system issues arises with purely formulated user queries leading to inaccurate retrieval hallucination then information embedded in images and tables is largely inaccessible so traditional rag also struggles with capturing 
context across multiple chunks. These are valid issues that I have discussed in my videos. Now there were uh, videos about agentic rag, which introduces an agent to analyze and refine user query, improving retrieval accuracy and reducing hallucination. So this is actually pretty neat because it kind of started with the traditional rag systems, then talks about agentic rag, Colbert, which is pretty great for preserving global information. Now it also talks about my local GPT project and then vision based rag plus contextual retrieval. So these are some of my later videos. So I really like the way that it put together them in a kind of a chronological order. But I think the most impressive thing was that in earlier videos, I talked a lot about the bloke because he was this person who was quantizing all of these open source models and putting them together. So I have probably mentioned him in a number of different videos, although it got the last name wrong. It says the a prominent figure in the open source LLM community known for quantizing and optimizing large language models for efficient local use. And like if I were to put together a list of people who are really important, I think the bloke is going to be one of them. So it's really good to see that the notebook LM was able to identify him as a prominent figure. These are some of the frameworks and projects that I have mentioned in my videos. Local GPT is my own project, Cold Poly. I am a big advocate of vision-based retrieval and it mentions Llama Index, Langchain. These are different projects or frameworks that I have talked about. So I think it does a pretty good job at creating this timeline plus the different technologies that are being used in RAG systems. Now, if you are studying for something, you can really use this as a study guide. So if you ask it to create a study guide, it will do that for you. So based on the content of these 21 videos, it came up with some questions. So the first one is, one are, what are the main two components of traditional RAG system? And what are their respective functions? Then it also gives you answers at the end. Now you can customize this, but I think it can be a great tool for uh, learning and studying, especially for students. A couple of other neat features. One is you can share your notebook by clicking on this share button. The other neat feature is that you can share your audio overview with everyone. Just click on this button, then make it publicly accessible. And then uh, you, either you can click on the preview so here you can just click on this and listen to it or you can copy the, sh uh, the share link and share it with people. All right, so we're diving deep into AI today or more specifically, how to make those powerful but data hungry large language models, you know, LLMs everyone's talking about. So if you're interested, I'm going to put a link to this prompt caching audio overview as well as the one for my Rack YouTube videos. This basically talks about everything that is in my YouTube videos that I've created over the last one year related to Rack. I would love to have two features if the Notebook LM team can put them together. The first one is going to be obviously an app that is going to be extremely helpful. And the second, which probably is going to be helpful but uh, may not be as critical is the ability to do audio chat. I can see myself using Notebook LM more and more and it's probably one of the best uh, use case for long context LLM, such as a 2 million context window. Anyways, they also have a business version of Notebook LM, which I think is going to be extremely helpful for small and medium sized businesses, because you can put all your documents or contacts into different notebooks and your teams can use them. At least based on my results, the retrieval accuracy is pretty great. Anyways, let me know what you think. I'm going to be posting the links to these audio overviews in the description of the video. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. And as always, see you in the next one.